This will be a speed test between the iPhone XR or the iPhone XR, whatever you want to call this phone, versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Turn on both at the same time. See which one has the faster boot up. Let's go. Very close on boot up. You guys are the judges. And we are in. On a side note, the Note 9, this one is the eight gigabyte of RAM variant. Nothing open in the background on both. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Very close. Messages. You guys are the judges. Camera. Very close again. Clock on both phones. Start the stopwatch. Leave that running in the background. Safari and Samsung internet. Search for GSM Arena. Let's go. Looking at the progress bar, very similar performance. And a little bit faster on the note. Scroll through this and we'll go to the desktop version. I'm gonna give that to the Note 9. Pinch to zoom, nice and fast. Do the same thing on the iPhone XR. Calculator on both. Play Store and App Store. A little bit faster on the Note 9. Click on an app here. Amazon Shopping. Give this to the Note 9. Click on the deal of the day. eBay. A little bit faster on the note. Click on this MacBook Air. Super Mario Run. Loading on the Note 9. Will the 10R catch up? And give this to the Note 9. Tap to begin. A little bit faster on the 10R. Actually running the game. We'll leave it there. Temple Run 2. Temple Run 2 Spirits Cove. Oh! We may have a draw. Let's find out. I'm gonna call that one a tie. Tap to play. Angry Birds 2. Starting up and logging in on the Note 9. Will the 10R catch it? Note 9 a little bit ahead. And give this to the Galaxy Note 9. Asphalt 9. Give this to the Note. PUBG. iPhone XR, a little bit faster on this one. And give this one to the XR. There you go, Note 9 finally catching up here. San Andreas. Let's go. Note 9 way ahead here, as you can see. And give this to the Galaxy Note 9. Twitter on both. Note 9 on this. 10R lagging a little bit on that one. Instagram. Note 9 again. Snapchat. Give that to the Note 9. Let's take a look at the multitasking of both phones. Everything's in the background, so you can see. Now the Note 9 has a whopping eight gigs of RAM. RAM management should not be an issue with this phone. And the iPhone XR only has three gigs of RAM. However, this is really optimized very well by Apple. Let's see what happens right now. Instagram, good to go. Twitter, good to go on both. Grand Theft Auto, still in RAM on both. PUBG, ready to play on both as you can see. 
Asphalt 9. Good to go on both. Angry Birds 2, still in RAM. Temple Run 2, paused and ready to resume on both phones. Mario Run. Good to go on both. So you can see eBay, same place. Amazon, same place on both. Play Store, same place. Calculator, good to go. The browsers, ready to browse. Clock, still running the stopwatch on both. Camera, messages, there you have it. And the phone app, boom. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about this classic matchup between Samsung and Apple. Are you a Samsung Knight rocking the Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy S9 Plus, Galaxy S9 from earlier this year, Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or last year's Note 8 with chock full of features, arguably the best displays on a phone, excellent dual speaker setup, or are you an Apple iSheet rocking the iPhone XR, this phone coming in with a low resolution notched display, no fast charging in the box. This phone is overpriced, however, it is optimized well by Apple and comes with a pretty good camera. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Are you kidding me?